Martin from Strafe Esports Zen. Uh, that was a tough loss, guys, and probably unexpected for many people. In your opinion, where do you think you struggled the most to adapt to Loud's game plan on both maps, but especially Lotus? Um, I think we started off slow. We lost pistol straight into bonus, so it's, it's really difficult to get any momentum. And then the game really punishes you after that because they start building up ultimates, and then then those rounds are less chance of you winning anyway. So, yeah, it was a, I think we just started off too slow. Which can happen. Yeah, pretty much the same on Lotus. It was like 4 0 down, they're 7 out of 8 on two ults, two big ults. And at that point, it's kind of like, yeah, and we're usually pretty good at defense Lotus. So, um, and then after that, I think we, we have to vote review, but I think there was some stuff on A where like we felt a bit scared maybe at times. And then I think Leo made some good calls later on that we could fight them again. Um, and those rounds we kind of won. Um, Ascent. We lost both pistols, we lost bonus, uh, and then we started, like, we just ended A into a stack every time it felt like, so um, we need to do a bit of a review on that, too. Thank you. Uh, many of the pre-submitted questions are fairly similar. Uh, we'll now open up to remote media. Please use the Zoom hand raise function if you'd like to ask a question, and then we will call on you. Um, would anyone from the remote media like to go first? We'll begin with Declan from Deserto. Uh, hi, this question is for Chronicle. I was just wondering at this point in the tournament in the year, are you guys feeling at all burnt out? Um, indeed, we are all kind of tired. Um, someone less, someone more. I mean, just because of the task season and uh, overall that we didn't have a lot of breaks because we participate, like we had participation in almost every tournament this uh, year. But I don't think it really affects us in this match exactly because like the... Um, reasons uh of uh, like why we did such a mistakes in this game are not kind of related to think that we're burned out honestly it just feels more like we were caring about this match too much <laughs> if uh you know sorry for my uh but uh words but they like we just uh did a lot of mistakes as they said like we we lost some crucial rounds at the start of the game and also like we didn't really play as a team sometimes in some moments that went us to the bad scores in uh, both uh, maps. So I don't think burnout is like a real reason for us that we are playing, played this exactly much bad, but yes, indeed, we kind of have this uh, issue uh, at the moment. Thank you. We'll next go to Diogo Santos from VLR. Thank you. Uh, this is for Durka. Um, FPX was the only team over the past few years to complete a full lower bracket run and eventually take a trophy. Uh, I'm just looking to know how you guys are going to measure uh, kind of your expectations going forward from today. I mean, of course, our goal is to win. And it's just like after this, we'll probably go back to practice and just try our best for the ne next games. I don't think there's anything like special. And then, I mean, we're, we're going to do our jobs and just try to win. Thank you. Uh, we'll next go to Nerditude. Thank you so much. Um, my question is for uh, Buster. We know that the world of esports can be emotionally demanding. How do you handle the pressure and the stress before and during big tournaments like this? Um, you, you, you just have to kind of re rephrase the way you think, I guess. Um, like, uh, if you really want to win, you got to want to win less <laughs> because if you really want to win, you'll end up doing things or playing differently to how you'd normally play. So like breathing exercises, any sort of preparation or rituals you have before a game to kind of make every game seem the same. Um, yeah, and it, I, I think that that's it, really. I'm for this event. I don't really have much pressure to win or anything. Like if we lose, we lose. I I just don't like it when we play bad. Like if we lose and it's a good game, then I don't mind. But if we lose and we're sloppy, that's when it's a bit annoying because we uh we don't scrim every day and vod review every day to 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 not show up on game day kind of vibes. But I don't think it was that bad today. To be fair, we'll watch it back and we'll be like, ah. Oh, it was just little things. Like we got so many entries. Thank you so much. Thank you. We'll next go to Snay from Sports Kita. Uh, hi. Uh, can you guys hear me? I'm not yes. sure. All right. Uh, your team. Was, my question is for Manny. 
Uh, your team was down by 2-8 on Lotus when you decided to take your final time out of the regulation, uh, regulation. What was the discussion done during this time where you tried to you know, sort of bring it back on the map? Uh, I caught something specific and it, it didn't really work, to be honest. Um, I think it would have worked if we had more time in the time out to discuss it, but um, we'd already used a lot of the free time up, so unfortunately we did the setup wrong. But I caught a specific setup. Thank you. Are there any questions from the anybody in the room? Hi, I have a question for Boaster. On Lotus, the only difference between yours and Loud's comp is the Astra versus the Omen. Um, is there a specific reason why you prefer Astra on that map, and who do you think is the better controller overall right now? Um, I think it's because uh, I always prefer Astra if I can. Um, and then also just for the map, we started off with Astra and we've not really had too much troubles with it. We like we understand how Omen works and what you can do as Omen. And I have uh, told me like, do I go Omen now? And then but we were just like, now nah, there's no point until we desperately need to, or we, we see that the, the stats are like Omen is caning Astra, I'd say. So right now I think they're kind of even, I can't remember. I have mentioned it to many a few times, uh, just in case, um, because I'm always open to doing it if it means that we're going to win. And also like mixing up a little, spicing it up, because I, I think I can make some sexy stuff. Thanks. Are there any more questions from the room? Uh, well, uh, my question is for Boaster. Uh, you said uh, about screams and and you were the first team that qualified to the playoffs. Uh, you, do you think that the extra time between the last match you played and this match is the cause that you started slow? Yeah, I think like, uh, to be fair, we, we should be ready on when it's game day. It's game day. We've got the schedule, so we know when to prepare ourselves. So we can't really use that as an excuse. However, like the gaps between the game days are boring, not boring, but I don't know how to phrase it. It's not boring. It's like, like, can we just hurry up and play? Like, we just want to go play instead of like preparing more and more because when we prepare more, we end up probably like, I don't know, just getting complacent and it's not the the most efficient way, but you know, we, we, we're a pretty efficient team anyway. So we try to do the best of the circumstances, but yeah, the breaks are, I know there's another break after between this one and the Kia forum. So that one's going to be a fun one as well. Um, but yeah, I think, yeah, it's tiring. I mean, the, there was the, today was an early wake up. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> that was a rough one, but uh, we, we, we should have been prepared for that too. Well, that's my fist. Thank you. We've got a bow next in the room. This question is for Mini. Um, the match seemed to depend uh, quite a lot on mechanics. Um, with Loud winning a lot of duels. Um, would you say that that was the key contributing factor to the defeat, or were there other factors you noticed being more prevalent? Um, yeah, I felt like they won a... I don't know, it's difficult, because we did win a lot of duels on Lotus Attack, but then we just threw 5v4 advantages, so... Um, I'm not sure what the numbers say, but like on defense ascent, like there was Fireman first kills too. Um, so yeah, there was just rounds where we just fully went 5v3 a few times. So um, yeah, it, it felt like we were a bit off on aim, but that's what happened with matches. So I wouldn't Thank say you. that was the reason or, you know, there's there's probably a hundred reasons. And until we VOD review, we don't know. It's like impossible to say. I do think we're decent today. It was just I, I don't things. think today was bad. No. It was little mistakes. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. We'll go next to Zen from Strafe Esports. Hi, thank you. <clears throat> um, including today's win, that includes three games, one in a row for Loud. Um, just in terms of, in isolation, their performance, how would you say they've been doing so far in this tournament? How will you rate their performance today? And uh, yeah, just in general, this can be picked up by any one of you, I guess. They look better than what they did in Tokyo. They've obviously come in... Um, Bit of an underdog mentality, probably, um, and lots of like media surrounding like Astros and stuff. So I think they've kind of, um, yeah, put their heads down and done some good good work this tournament. Um, it wasn't like they were like 
outclassing us, I don't think. It was just a bit of, um, yeah, just little mistakes today, I think. Thank you. Thank you. Are there any more questions for Fanatic? Fanatic, thank you so much for taking the time to speak.